All right, cool. Man's got some gallium metal there, innit? Now, gallium has the fourth lowest melting point of any metal in the whole world at 30 degrees Celsius. Cesium is third at 28 degrees, and mercury is first at minus 39, bruv. That's bare low. So we're going to use this heat gun to melt the gallium, innit? Now, even though it melts at only 30 degrees, it boils at 2,400, giving it one of the largest ranges between melting and boiling point of any metal, fam. So we're going to react it with this aluminium can, innit? You know what I'm saying? But first, we've got to sand off the aluminium oxide layer on the surface so that the gallium can get to the pure aluminium and that, because you're done, no, man. Alright, cool. So we're going to pick up a little gallium thing, yeah? Then we're going to slap it onto the can and that, bruv. You're done, no, man. So obviously, gallium, yeah? It can do something called gallium-induced structural failure, innit? That's when it breaks up the bonds between other metals and that and destroys it, cuz. So obviously, gallium can do this to aluminium, iron, copper, zinc, and some other metals and that. Do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Gallium is used to make semiconductors for phones and laptops and that. Cause obviously, it's good at conducting heat and electricity, innit? So it's not going to heat up and that, 